in the Mosser bombing in New Jersey, the so-called Unabomber used the alias H.C. Wickle. The son of Sam used the alias Wicked King Wicker. And the root of both the words Wickle and Wicker is Wick, which in turn is a derivative of the Old English word Wicca, meaning wizard, of which the feminine is Wicke, literally witch. The Unabomber, at least since his fatal bombing of December 10, 1994, in which Mr. Mosser was killed, would seem to be signaling to occult initiates and those who understand the twilight or cant language of the cryptocracy that this attack was part of a symbolic process. That again is from uh, Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare by Michael A. Hoffman II, a uh, highly recommended book. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. While there is not anything uh, uh, significant that I want to rant and rail about today, I do want to comment on a couple of things. First of all, uh, we have another incumbent who is ousted in Michigan, uh, another Democrat. Now, I do not want <laughs> to be sitting here in November talking about all the Democrats have been ousted for Republicans simply because uh, I would like to see everybody that's in office ousted. And that includes all the Republicans as well. I don't want anybody to get the idea that there's a fucking referendum in this country that's, that's rejecting one party for another. We need to reject both fucking parties. Simple. End of fucking discussion. Now, hopefully, we're going to see some Republicans go down as well. And there are still some primaries to come. But the big test is going to come in November as well, whenever the final uh, national election is finished. So, let's be focused on that. For those of you who watch my videos who are in states where there are primaries coming up, remember, oust the fucking incumbents. Put somebody else in there for a fucking change. And uh, also, uh, when it comes to the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, well, uh, they seem to be doing the static kill and everything seems to be working okay, but we, I've, I've seen so many divergent views on this, so many bits of news from various different sources that uh, say that there is uh, well integrity issues, that the sea floor is cracking and that there's no way the static kill is going to end this uh, eruption of oil. Um, and also we have a new report that says that uh, I think it was 75% of the oil is gone. What? What do you mean fucking gone? It's gone? The stuff that spilled into the fucking water, it's gone. They can't find it. Come on. Give me a fucking break, would you? This is fucking bullshit. And now we have the toxicity of core exit, the dispersant that was used. And <laughs> what really fucking gets my goat about this is BP has the nerve now to blame the fucking EPA and the Coast Guard and Thad Allen, the guy who's in charge of this whole fucking messed up piece of shit for the toxicity and the danger of core exit when the EPA ordered them to stop using it a long time ago. And this is indicative of the fucking mess that this is. Because here you have the fucking administration saying, we're in charge. We tell them what to do. Well, they ordered them to quit using the fucking core exit, and they didn't. They kept using it anyway. And now that there are some questions about the toxicity, which there should have been at the very fucking beginning, they have the nerve to blame the fucking EPA and Thad Allen. Well, they're all fucking guilty as far as I'm concerned. 75% of the oil is gone? Where did it fucking go? Did it magically disappear to another fucking dimension? You know, when it comes to the economy, I see another bubble forming in the stock market with the Dow Jones Industrials raising and being pumped up to new heights. This is going to come crashing down, folks. As I said before, we are merely in a lull in our decline. And the only way we can really reverse this entire trend is to accept and go for very drastic very new and very bold approaches. 
and that's why in one of my last videos I called for a new new deal. There are ways that can be uh, there are ways that can be followed that will save this economy, that will turn it around if only people will embrace the idea. And the thing that we don't need right now is this idea of a balanced budget, fiscal conservatism and fiscal responsibility, which is just a code word for fucking everybody by cutting everybody's fucking social programs to try to reach a lofty goal of balancing the budget. Well, you can look in history and see that the balanced budget doesn't do anything to help the economy. It's simple as that. And that approach is not going to go anywhere. And for those of you who think that government spending is not the answer, well, government spending when it comes to giving fucking money to fucking banks and financial institutions that do nothing to promote the fucking economy, I agree. That's fucking bullshit. But government spending that goes into the economy, that produces fucking jobs, that does something to help the fucking country and the people in this country and increases economic activity is certainly beneficial. And that's the way we have to move. And last but not least, let us not forget there is a lot of propaganda coming out now about Afghanistan and our need to stay there because of the consequences of leaving. Well, I say the war needs to end, and anybody who is anti-war, who is not up in arms about getting us out of the fucking conflicts that we're in, better shut up and never show their fucking face again in public. Because you have no right to speak if you remain silent now. It's time for us to come home. Ten years is ten years too fucking long. And the same goes for Iraq and everywhere else that this administration is looking to push with military adventurism and imperialism. Let's focus on the United States of America and the people here and our economy. No more fucking wars! Thank you. Good day.